I can't do this anymore. We're gonna have to break up. Oh no, that bums me out. Do you have any cute friends though? How's it going guys, I am Matthias, and lately I feel like dating, being in a relationship, are just things that people do when they're bored now. Where'd the love go? Where'd the passion go? Rather than make myself throw up and talk about how successful my relationship is, a lot of these tips that I have for you are just things that I've noticed in successful relationships that I've seen. So welcome to how to keep a girlfriend. But honestly, you can pretty much apply these tactics to any relationship of any combination of two people. Naturally, you need to get a girlfriend to keep a girlfriend. But the topic, how to get a girlfriend, is an entirely different video. In fact, like this video if you wanna see that as a future video. So what qualifies you to give relationship advice, huh? Why would I listen to you, especially someone that wears a hashtag sweater? <laughs> hashtag lame. Fair question, kinda mean though. My relationship with Amanda Faye is actually coming up on like a decade now, and it's growing stronger every day, or at least I think. I mean, it's not to say that we don't have our issues and things that we both need to work on, but I think like the worst thing that I ever have done, or still do, is allegedly leave cupboards open. Ow. Babe! Being in a relationship with someone is not as simple as people make it out to be. People always try all the wrong things to prove that they're serious about their relationship. I can't do this anymore. We're gonna have to break up. I will prove that I'm serious and that I love you. Let's move in together. Well... And get married? What? and have kids. Wait. And buy caskets? Being in a serious relationship is not always about taking it to the next level. It just means that you promise to be there with them when they need it. So what does it take to keep a girlfriend? Well, I'm glad you asked. Well, first, it's not all about you, you doofus. Sorry, that was harsh. Being in a relationship isn't about finding a way to make yourself happier. It's about trying to make someone else happy. It's a selfless noble act. Relationships based on lust and convenience won't last. But what if she's really a hat? Well, it's probably not the quality of life that you want, but I don't know you, maybe you do want it, so if you do, go for it. People that choose to think of their own happiness before others typically surround themselves with similar people. People that only pay attention to themselves. Yeah, she smothered me. It was like, man, I can't handle all that love. Oh, you, you, talk, you talking to me? I wasn't listening. You said you wanted to manhandle love? You wanted to love manhandles. Oh, well that's not right. You wanted to handle man love. Dude, if you want to handle man love, dude, that's all on you, man. Like, you do you. Good talk. So what's the key here then? I shouldn't look for a partner because I'm lonely? Then how do I become unlonely? You don't. You just kind of have to learn to be okay with being lonely. I don't want to talk about that in too much detail because if you remember, we did a video titled, Are You Alone? That kind of covers a lot of that stuff. So go check that out if you're interested. But you just have to learn to be happy with yourself and who you are. Honestly, before I met Amanda, I was just kind of okay being alone, doing my thing, you know? I didn't really need a girlfriend and I really wasn't looking for one. I was kind of more interested in Airsoft. In fact, before I asked her out, I kind of knew her for two full years. And the more I got to know her and the more we hung out, the more I realized how much I liked her. And love blossomed. But it doesn't always work like that. All I'm saying is you gotta love yourself to love someone else. Just don't love yourself too much. Next up, be thoughtful. Anticipate their needs. If their back aches, give them a back rub. If they mention offhand that they like something, write it down and get it for them on the next special occasion. Be careful with this one though, a little goes a long way. Hi. I knew you were coming home so I opened the door for you. How did you get in? There are also a lot of things that aren't really fun about being in a relationship. I don't know, like maybe off chance that the fact is you're always wrong. Oh, I hit a nerve there. Now it's never good to bottle things up, internalize your issues, or not communicate your problems, but there's something to be said about swallowing your pride for the greater good of your relationship, so long as resentment doesn't fester. Fester, that's a weird word. Lester likes to fester. <laughs> what? You mean say you're sorry when there's nothing to be sorry about? That is exactly what I mean. Let me tell you, it takes a real man to admit his mistakes and an even bigger man to admit his wife's mistakes. Don't worry, it's okay to be right some of the time. I hear it's gonna be below 50 degrees today. Nope, no it won't. But I just read the weather report. Babe, it's already 65 degrees. Doesn't mean you still won't look like an idiot to her though. Last but definitely not least, listen. Were you paying attention just now? Because if you weren't, I'll say it again. Listen. She doesn't always want her problem solved. I know, it's a cliche. You just nod your head and say, wow, that sucks. Do it with me. Wow, that sucks. Nice. But if you're actually listening, you'll know that some of her problems you should solve. I'm really thirsty. Wow, that sucks. <laughs> 
have some prime time brownie point making moments that you just threw away. Sometimes you solve, sometimes you nod. I call this the nod and solve. Actually, I just named that right now. Either way, it hasn't failed me yet. See, most people in the world just want to share their life with someone. Just knowing that means there's millions of people willing to try to be in a relationship. Why are we so easy to give up? Commitment doesn't mean I'm going to be with you until you get lame. Or I like you until I don't. It means I'm going to be there for you when you need it. Breaking up with someone isn't something that you should really even consider if you really want to experience love. True love. So many people out there trying to tell you that it doesn't exist and it only exists in the movies. It's not about finding the right person. It's about being that right person. It's not about looking for what's wrong in the person. It's about looking for what's right in the person. It's about wearing a lot of accessories if your wife thinks you make an attractive hipster. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, there are definitely times to break up, especially if they're abusive. Drop them, drop them like tot. Or obviously if they're insane. Insanity is a vague term though, and it doesn't just mean when the person changes. This is insanity. Aw, that family over there, they look like they're having fun. Yeah, they do. We should kill them all. What? No. It's like you don't even know me anymore. Thanks for watching the video guys. If you enjoyed it, please click like and I'd love to have you subscribe and join our fun little community. I'd love to know what you thought about this video in the comments down below and what you think it takes to be in a successful relationship because we all need the help. New video coming out Friday. Always good to see you guys again. High five.